Hello. I'm just going to uh, come onto the airwaves to sing a traditional English folk ballad called I Sowed the Seeds of Love. And I've discovered that it was written by a lady who is buried about four miles from where I'm sitting now. So I look out into a Burnley, Lancashire garden and this is her area, Mrs Fleetwood Habakkuk. So you can look her up and um, also I've put some notes on my profile about it. This is kind of my version. I sowed the seeds of love and I sowed them in the spring in April, May and June likewise when the small birds do sweetly sing when the small birds do sweetly sing my garden was planted well with flowers everywhere but i had not the liberty to choose for myself the flower i loved so dear the flower i loved so dear the gardener he stood by and I asked him to choose for me. He chose me the violet, the lily and the pink, but I refused all three, but I refused all three. The violet I forsook because it fades so soon the pink and the lily I did overlook and I vowed I'd stop till June and I vowed I'd stop till June for in June there's a red rose bud, and that's the flower for me. And I often plucked at the red rose bush till I gained the willow tree, till I gained the willow tree. The gardener he stood by and told me to take great care for into the middle of the red rose bush there grows a sharp thorn there there grows a sharp thorn there I told him I'd take no care till I had felt the smart and I oftentimes plucked at the red rose bush till it pierced me to the heart till it pierced me to the heart a posy of hyssop I'll make, no other flower I'll touch, that all the world may plainly see. I loved one flower too much, I loved one flower too much. I sowed the seeds of love. Traditional English folk ballad. See you later. Bye.